I am excited to be here. Uh, let's get into it. Earlier today, I was doing a little bit of reflecting. You know, reflecting or reflection? Well, it doesn't matter. Sitting on the toilet <laughs> drinking vodka. Um, <laughs> you reflect your way, I reflect mine. And I was just talking about how L.A. is. Like, earlier today, I was just walking through Hollywood, just hanging out, 11 o'clock in the morning, chilling. Dude comes up, you got any crack? <laughs> Anything. I'm not a drug snob. I don't judge people off what they do recreationally. And if he would ask for weed, 11 o'clock in the morning, sunny day, no big deal. It's weed. <laughs> but crack? <laughs> That's a nighttime request. <laughs> Dusk, bare minimum. <laughs> the sun should be on its way down before you ask for that. <laughs> and then I had to realize something. When someone asks you if you personally have crack, it forces you to reevaluate your life. Because like I said, I was walking on the strip. It was a lot of people around. I'm like, what? It wasn't like it was a deserted road where it was like just me and the cracky. There's a lot of people. I'm like, what about me? Do I look crackish? I wasn't wearing the I heart crack shirt. Like there was, and even more tripped out than him asking was that I checked. <laughs> Like, I don't even know, dude. I think I may have given away my last piece. I am not sure how this works out. So that started out my day, and then my doctor told me uh, that I might need glasses. Yeah, for reading. Yeah, yeah. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. <laughs> I got colors and shapes down. I'm pretty good in silhouettes and stuff like that. It's fine, it's fine. The beauty of getting older, though, is that you certain things you accept. By the way, I knew I was getting older when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. <laughs> you know what I'm, exactly. You know what I'm talking about. Remember how you watch Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it, you want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn! <laughs> Now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. <laughs> it's a school night. You're being disrespectful. <laughs> this is on you. They in the barn, Jason. Go get them. They in the barn. <laughs> Spank them first. They was drinking, too. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, the beauty of getting older is that you accept certain things about your life. Like, I'm a man, but I'm a specific type of man. Example, ladies, I'm the type of guy that if we go out for the evening, and somebody disrespects you, I will defend your honor. Yes. But understand the level of defense depends on the size of the offender. No, for real, like in my heart, I want to be like, yo, dude, what did you say? But it might be like, what did you, babe, what did you say? I just want to get both sides of the story. To be fair, you do tend to talk a lot. I just want to, I'm just, Certain things I do not do anymore, uh, getting older, uh, is uh, strip clubs. Yeah, I, I can't. First of all, because the strippers seem to be the same age they were when I started going to strip clubs. <laughs> Which is inappropriate, because I got kids. You know what I'm saying? I used to go to strip clubs and be like, ooh, who's your daddy? <laughs> now I'm like, where's your father? <laughs> the last strip club I went to, the girl came up and she's like, hey, if you want to make this more than a dance, we can but understand that my prices are negotiable, but be respectful, because the last person I was with gave me $1,000. Now, let me tell you something. Here's the difference between older me and younger me. Younger me would have found $1,000. <laughs> I would have started a paper route, lemonade stand, <laughs> developed an app, whatever I got to do, I would have got that money. Me now, when she said $1,000, I'm like, I'm right now arguing with DirecTV over $20. <laughs> And I get 300 channels, so <laughs> you getting a thousand for one? No, that don't. That don't sound fiscally responsible. Said so for that price, you're gonna have to stay for a while, like a week. It ain't gonna just be sex either. There's gonna be some chores involved too. <laughs> I don't know about being in the mood, but I do need this living room painted, and uh, so suit up. Let me ask you this before I get out of here, fellas. You think it's okay to go to strip clubs if you're in a relationship? <laughs> Look at that one dude, the rest of y'all was like, what are strip clubs? 
Is that where you go to worship? Is that a place of the Lord? I wouldn't do it either, fellas, but not because I would be tempted to do anything at the strip club, ladies, but because I don't want to have to explain to my wife that I was at a strip club just in case something messed up happens. Like, what if I get shot <laughs> at the strip club? <laughs> you can't explain that to my wife. Like, ma'am, we got something to tell you. What is it? <laughs> I'm gonna play both parts. <laughs> it's about your husband. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he was shot. Oh my God! He was shot and killed. Oh my God! <laughs> he was shot and killed at the strip club. What? <laughs> He was shot and killed at a strip club. We need you to come down and identify his remains. Forget his remains. You tell the girl he was getting a dance from to identify his remains. That's why he can't pay the $20 on the cable bill. My point is I don't want to be laying there dying on the strip club floor and had a cop come up and be like, Mr. Barnett, it don't look like you're going to make it. And I'd be like, <laughs> OK. <laughs> Can you drag my body down the street? right next to the church. <laughs> and please, <laughs> please wipe this glitter off my forehead. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you guys. Stop on there, appreciate it. That's great. Hilarious. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.